So, you just got yourself an iPad and an Apple Pencil and want to use it for note-taking. But there are literally hundreds of different applications on the App Store that pretty much promise the same thing. Let's be honest, it can be really overwhelming choosing the right one to start with. And that's why we're here to help. My name is Joao and today we're going to take a look at not one, not two, but at 13 of the best note-taking apps you can find on the App Store. With tons of positive reviews, Notability has certainly proven its worth to note-takers over the years. The app is most known for its audio syncing feature, which allows you to record audio and sync it with handwritten notes while you write. But Notability is actually much more than that. It comes with multi-note support that allows you to easily compare and work on multiple documents at one time. This is pretty cool because it's actually in-app, so you're not dependent on iPadOS to work on multiple notes. Notability's favorites toolbar make it very simple to create and save your favorite tools for fast and easy reuse. Something that many apps on this list actually don't have. The math and version tool allows you to convert handwritten calculations into common mathematical expressions. And one of Notability's updates, the pencil tool. This allows for drawing and sketching with pressure sensitivity and tilt activated shading. You've got it by now, the app has a very strong set of features. On the other hand, Notability comes with one pretty big limitation in my opinion. iCloud syncing and cloud storage is only available on the paid plan. Which means that if you're a free user, you can't back up your data. And that's really, really frightening. Other limitations are that you have limited node edits on the free plan, the organizational tools compared to other note-taking apps like GoodNotes are pretty limited as well. And another thing that's not so good, it's the lag of a favorites tab. This can make valuable notes very difficult to find even when bookmarked as favorites. As for pricing, a free plan is available, but if you want to use the full app's potential, you'll have to pay for a premium subscription plan, which is $12.99 per year. GoodNotes is a powerhouse for note-takers everywhere. The app comes with everything you need to take notes, to write music, annotate PDFs, and so much more. It's often compared directly to Notability, which we also did in a video a few months back, as they are both highly regarded by note-takers. One of the biggest differentiators between GoodNotes and other competitors is its abundance of organizational tools. But GoodNotes doesn't stop there. The notebook creation tools provide an unparalleled level of customization for notebooks and notes. Infinite nested storage enables users to store folders within folders within folders within folders and create an organizational structure that fits their needs. And other than Notability, you actually have a favorite step. This allows you to locate any note, any document or page in seconds from a single location, which is really, really handy. As for limitations, text conversion is kind of clunky and difficult to deal with. And in my humble opinion, the biggest limitation this app has is the lack of a favorites toolbar. This means that you'll need to reformat your tools each time you select or change them, which is really annoying. As for pricing, you can try a limited version for free. You're only allowed three notebooks and with a one-time purchase of $8.99, you can unlock the full version of the app. Believe it or not, Apple Notes has been here forever. It has been launched in 2007 with the first version of iOS and it has come a very long way since then. Like most of other note-taking apps, it comes with the essential tools for you to take notes, and they're all arranged in a toolbar that can be moved around for workspace customization. My personal favorite feature is Quick Notes. You can open them from pretty much anywhere on your iPad. Other cool features include native support of handwriting and typing on the same page using various inputs, including fingers, keyboard, and Apple Pencil. Apple Notes also allows shading when drawing with the Apple Pencil. It recognizes handwritten phone numbers, dates, addresses, and other data, thus enabling other options for recognized text like scheduling events or calling a phone number from your iPad directly. Native iCloud syncing is obviously a big part of this app. It allows you to sync 
all your notes across all your Apple devices without any further efforts. Now, as for limitations, the app lacks many customization features, including the ability to create templates or create deeply nested organizational features. Other than that, there is no onboard syncing for non-iCloud storage, and you have limited PDF annotation and markup capabilities that kind of forces you to use another tool to annotate your PDFs. I typically use the markup tool inside the file or the image itself, which is actually more convenient. So yeah, it's not a perfect note-taking app, but if you're just starting out, it's actually a great tool to start with. And let's not forget that it's totally free and it comes pre-installed on any Apple device you purchase. Liquid Text is more of a study and research tool. When opening a file in Liquid Text, the document is imported into a workspace. In the workspace, your documents take up half of the screen and the workspace takes up the other half. As you read your document, you can highlight and mark up your text, as you would do with any other note-taking app. You can also grab snippets of text and pull them to the other side of the screen. Liquid Text will then transform these into small cards that you can freely move around in the workspace. Among other cool features, the workspace is actually infinite, which allows you for a tidy collection of snippets, of comments, of text. You can add multiple documents to a single workspace, which allows users to create projects around one idea or one theme and consolidate everything together. You can import web pages as PDFs pretty easily thanks to the built-in web browser and you have the ability to squeeze and expand documents during research this makes details much easier to parse and compare now to the downside so a first one would be that snippets and texts can easily be lost inside the workspace. Because it's infinite, it's really easy to misplace something if you don't stay organized. Other than that, the workspace sometimes feels cramped, no matter how you choose to set it up. And the main downside of Liquid Text, in my opinion, is that it's not for everybody. If you're not doing major research projects, this app is not for you. Now to pricing, a free plan is available, but you can buy the pro version for $39.99. It's a one-time purchase per platform, but there are also two subscription models, $7.99 per month for live and $40.99 per month for the live enhanced. Both are cloud-based and cover liquid text on all devices. MarginNote is the second of two research tools on our list. In a way it works, it's very similar to Liquid Text. But where Liquid Text focuses on handwritten notes and marking up documents, this software also allows for clipping notes, creating flashcards or mind maps. And mind mapping is Margin Notes' key differentiator. It can be done in a way that looks clean and crisp, with straight lines and blocks that feel sharp and organized. Other core features include flashcards, which are great to study for exams. All notes can be edited and annotated, so you can add context to excerpts as you set them aside. And finally, the auto add to mind map tool allows you to organize excerpts without a ton of dragging and dropping. As for margin notes' main limitations, different viewing modes and setups can get confusing. Though useful, it's very easy to get lost during navigation. Other than that, the overabundance of features makes for a very steep learning curve. And finally, while auto mind mapping is actually great, it can be difficult to set up. The mind map is based on the table of contents, so some forethought is needed when you create it. Margin Notes is available for free, but it's a read-only version, and you can acquire the full version for $12.99. It's a one-time purchase. While apps like Notability and GoodNotes try to emphasize and stick mostly to handwriting, Nebo tries to marry the concept of handwriting and type text together. As with other apps, you can draw and write freely on note pages, but the app's document pages are where it really starts to shut. All document pages are lined sheets and users can choose to write either with an Apple Pencil or with their keyboards. Another cool feature is that you can freely combine handwriting and type text. It's hinted at in other apps, but Nebo really takes ownership of this feature. Handwriting and math conversions are second to none, and both are included at no additional charge. You have both freeform and lined pages, which allows you to work 
in which way works best for you, and the ability to edit typed text using a stylus adds extra flexibility to your work. Though it's a very usable app, Nebo has some downsides. The most notable one is the lack of templates of layouts and other custom formats like you would find on GoodNotes or Notability for example. Formatting can be a tad complicated, while you can adjust text placement by dragging boxes around, position text correctly inside a box can be a bit tedious. And finally, note pages feel kinda subpar when compared to other note-taking apps. Now for pricing, Nebo has a free version available, but you can upgrade your experience for $2.99, $4.99 or $3.99 for the essentials, connect or PDF packs respectively. Also, it's important to note that Nebo is cross-platform, you can use it on Android, Windows and obviously iOS. In many respects, Colanode is still a work in progress that has gained a huge following over the past years. The app provides a solid experience with all features that you would expect from a free note-taking app. It looks good and it feels great to use. So inside the note-taking interface, you'll find all the classics plus some really nice goodies. You've got a great note-taking kit that gives you pretty much everything you'll need. Collaboration features make it very easy to work with other note takers to generate a group or shared note. And finally, importing PDFs, images and other multimedia is pretty fast and easy. On the other hand, Colanote has some limitations. First one to mention is that it's limited to iPadOS and iOS. It does backup on iCloud but it has no compatibility with your Mac for example. While it looks nice, it's an acquired taste. The app definitely has a unique feel, but it might not be for everyone. As for the price point, it's totally free. NoteShelf has become a great compromise between good notes and notability. You'll find pretty much anything you need to take great notes on your iPad, on Android devices or Windows. The app is very easy to navigate, it provides a lot of customization features and has an audio recording tool. What? Unlike Notabilities, it doesn't sync with the handwritten notes, but it's really cool to know that you can record your audio. Other than that, you've got plenty of advanced customization options, such as a variety of page templates, notebook covers and tools. The zoom box has its tool interface in the magnification bar, so that switching between tools is quick and easy while working in this mode. Other than that, the Sharewitz toolbar allows you to save different pen types or sizing combinations for future use. And finally, it's multi device compatible, so you can use it on your Mac devices, Apple Watch included, on your Android devices and on Windows. While it's a great tool, NoteShelf comes with a few limitations. First worth mentioning is the resizing issues that can result in blurred lines, which isn't really a problem with other major note-taking apps. The lack of a free version might scare some people off. Also, moving notes around is not a simple process, making reorganizing your notes and I know I just said that it's multi-device compatible, but it's not cross-platform compatible. While there are Android, iOS and Windows versions, they don't communicate with each other. This means that you can hand off your notes between various Apple products, but you won't be able to send them from an iPad to an Android device, for example which is a bummer. Now, if you want to use NoteShelf, there is no free version available. I already said it. It's available on the App Store for a one-time purchase of $9.99. If you're a productivity geek, Evernote is the perfect note-taking app for you. Not only does it have a dedicated section for taking notes, it also incorporates different sections that will help you be more productive, such as a dedicated task section to help you keep on top of your to-do lists. Other cool features include a structured formatting that feels very familiar thanks to its similarity to Word and Google Docs, a robust web clipper that allows you to capture information for later use, and cross-platform compatibility and real-time syncing that allows you to work from anywhere, anytime. This is actually my favorite. As for its downsides, the sketch mode is the only place you can handwrite, which can be pretty annoying if you don't like to type your notes. Also, the ability to connect to calendar and add reminders to your task lists is locked behind a paywall. And finally, you're only able to sync two devices on the free plan, which is kind of limiting if you don't want to pay for a subscription. And talking about subscriptions, other than the free plan, you can subscribe to the personal plan for $8.99 a month or $79.99 a year, or the professional plan for $10.99 a month or 
$109.99 a year. Microsoft's OneNote is widely popular and completely free. It's the go-to app for thousands of people wanting to take effective notes. Just like Evernote, this app is geared more towards keyboard note takers, but its handwriting components work beautifully and doesn't make you switch modes or move to a different section to write. You'll just need to hit the draw tab right here to access your writing tools. And OneNote doesn't stop there. It features an ink color selector unlike any other app. It allows you to really get creative by choosing from options like Galaxy, Marble, or Glitter Colors, for example. The math assistant can solve equations, which makes it great for students or anyone who works with a lot of mathematical equations. OneNote also features an audio recording tool. And let's not forget that the free version includes all the features. Though it's great to use, there are a few downsides. And the first one worth mentioning is that it automatically opens to the last screen used, which can be annoying if you'd like to start a new node or actually go to some other node that you started earlier on. Secondly, it only backs up on its servers, so you cannot create any backup on any other cloud service. And finally, on the free plan, you only have 5 gigabytes of storage included, which might not be enough if you plan on taking a lot of notes. As for the pricing, did I mention that it's free? Subscriptions are only necessary if you want to upgrade the storage capacity. Just like Evernote and OneNote, Zoho Notebook is available on a variety of different platforms and it seamlessly syncs across different devices using its own cloud service. It was awarded Best App of the Year in the App Store in 2016 and its popularity has risen since then. But as a note-taking app, it takes a pretty different approach compared to other competitors out there. Its coolest feature, in my opinion, is the beautiful AI and artwork. It just makes this app one of the most aesthetically pleasing out there. Other than that, its post-it note appearance and colors allow users to easily differentiate between different notes. Smart cards automatically format saved content, keeping these notes nice and neat. As for the downsides, the main one in my opinion is the lack of search capabilities in the free version. This can make it very difficult for you to find your notes. There's also limited note card sizes and storage. So if you plan on taking a lot of notes, you'll need to upgrade. And finally, limited tools for handwriting and customization for type text make it more difficult to get creative with your notes. As for the price, there's a limited free version as I already mentioned, and the full version is available with a subscription of $1.99 a month, $19.99 a year, or $49.99 for three years. Okay, if you're looking for a note-taking app that lets you really get creative with your notes, Penbook might be the right choice for you. Like Zoho Notebooks, this app also offers a variety of beautiful notebook covers, but it doesn't stop there. You have thousands of different ways to set up and personalize your notes. You can even mix and match templates throughout your document so that your notes look completely different from one page to the other. The pre-made editions help you skip the notebook creation process so you can basically get right to taking notes. And Live Paper automatically fills in the date and time when you create new pages, which can be super handy for schedules or journals, for example. On the other hand, navigation doesn't really feel very intuitive, so it takes some time for you to get used to it. Also, the free version is basically just a free trial. You only get one notebook, so yeah, it's great for you to try it out, but if you want to use it, you will need to upgrade. And personally, I think it lacks in organizational features. It's just not that easy to keep track and find your notes. Now, for the price point, I already mentioned that there is a free version available, and if you want to unlock the full version, you'll have to pay either a subscription of $14.99 per year or a one-time purchase of $49.99. Zoom Notes provides an infinite whiteboard, making it a great choice for visual note takers. As you might expect from the name, it offers the most impressive zoom range from all the apps in this list. It's practically endless, so it makes it very easy for you to sketch out your ideas and never run out of room. Other than that, subpages allow you to create a page within a page. You can also add PDFs, sticky notes, among other things. And finally, it integrates seamlessly with Apple Reminders and Apple Calendar. As for limitations, well, the UI is a bit clunky and not as friendly as most of the other apps. Also, the free version only provides you with limited tools, which makes it very hard for you to customize your notes the way you'd like. And finally, there are way too many features, which can be very overwhelming for some people, 
and very difficult to learn. Okay, now you can use Zoom Notes Lite for free and you can purchase the full version on the App Store for $10.99. It's a one-time purchase, by the way. This pretty much rounds up this video. Actually, it, well, ended up being way longer than I anticipated at first, but I really hope that this rapid fire overview gave you some ideas and actually inspired you to try at least one of these apps. I know it can be really overwhelming and we all have different needs, but my advice, just pick one, try it out and tell us your first impressions in the comment section down below. Now, if you're ready to start, but you don't really know how to use your Apple Pencil to its full potential, you should definitely check out the latest video we did on the subject. And as always, thanks for watching and happy note taking.